we need to head into that. And it's the same old game once you get out into an area that feels good. We just need a sign. Something that humans changed. Well, I hope my eyes ain't playing tricks on me, but I think I see stacked rocks down there. Oh my god, it is! There is actually a site out here. Well, hello everybody. If you saw yesterday's video, I found that cellar hole on the other side of the pond. FG's working on getting us over to it. Detecting it is permissible. Getting to it is another story. Anyways, it's been a few days since that video and I have been scouring this area. Anytime you're trying to find a location in New Hampshire, if you start out by going down, that's bad because eventually it's gonna be a lot more up. Tell you one thing, I've already had enough of river crossings. All the land looked proper, definitely old farmland, but loggers had done a job on it, and for whatever reason, I don't know why, but loggers dig holes. Before I even start, look at this thing. It's literally just a massive hole in the ground. There are rocks in the side walls, but that's just the natural ground. Well, I just dug a big iron pin out of the ground. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, as for looking for old sites. So then after that I hiked way, way to the other side of that property. So, so far, three and a half hours, three and a half miles. I think how slow that is. Found the cellar hole. Nasty. Been logged up here probably in the last five years. And that's the cellar hole. Absolutely impossible to swing anywhere. So where I am today, I was here in this exact spot two years ago, within like a week or so. And this just took me 45 minutes to get out here. And when I was out here two years ago, it just has the feel. It's a nice plateau, good ground up here, but there's no walls. So I'm literally out here again, like I did in the past couple days, hoping that I find a cellar hole, so. We need to head into that. And there may be nothing out there, but it's ground I have not hiked and explored, so it must be done. So how I got here was mostly bushwhacking, finding a game trail, following that. And in comparison to the rest of the terrain I went through, this isn't half bad. And it's the same old game once you get out into an area that feels good. We just need a sign. Something that humans changed. Even a couple stacked rocks out here would be well, well accepted. Well, I hope my eyes ain't playing tricks on me, but I think I see stacked rocks down there. Oh yes, there is. And not only is there stacked rock, but there's very close stacked rocks. See how this wall is here, that wall is there, and I see a pile over there. I'm hoping that's a chimney stack. Oh my God, it is. There is actually a site out here. So yesterday I walked just about six miles over the course of the day. Terrible, right? Come back here because I was thinking to myself, you were over there two years ago, go back. I was off by a thousand feet, but it felt right. Either way, time to get down on this. So this is realistically a whole new level of finding a cellar hole. This area out here can go back as far as the late 1600s. There's no roads. Like I said, I walked probably over a mile and a half to get in here, followed a game trail, got to the peak, went in a thousand feet. This has been abandoned a long time. Even that little stitch of wall just ends. There's no other walls out there. This is this is a lucky break or it's just process of elimination and covering so much ground. Either way, this is the moment. Oh good, it's not quiet. Yeah. 
hear that one? There's still always the good chance of shotgun shells and ammunition. No, it is, it's a shotgun shell. Old one and six inches deep. Well, now that we get that out of the way. So I'm just looking around for a second. I'm in the chimney stack. Holes on both sides, I can see the footprint. This was a big colonial. This was no small house out here. But chimney stack is rock. I don't see any brick immediately, so that's that's something. Ow. <sighs> nice. We have a relic. We have the corner of a beautiful shoe buckle frame with some fancy on it. Boy, that was loud and not very deep, surprisingly. Well, here's a another very similar signal. Oh, wow. It's actually a bullet. So, again, no surprise with the hunters. Anywhere, everywhere, from any time period. Well, I didn't film the signal because they've all been the same. I have a dump pouch full of shotgun shells. But finally... Oh my, look at this. Well, is that a cufflink? Well, I've never seen or dug anything like that. I gotta tell you, it's oddly quiet here. These really old sites for us seem to have a tendency to be very quiet. There's no way that somebody has metal detected this. If you knew where it was and how it was for me to get out here, you would understand. So I don't know if that's glass or crystal. Almost looks like a flower underneath. That is cool. All right. That's a beautiful little button. Different. Oh, this is good stuff out here. So these areas I've been working recently are interesting for the fact that these home sites were abandoned before they even started improving upon the roads. A cart path was considered a road to them. So this has been abandoned a long time. Like I said, this area can go as far back as to the 1670s, but it's hard to say with what we have found already as to dating it. It's obviously never been mapped. And I still can't figure out how they got in and out of here. It's an equal distance on either end, uh, mountain on one side, marshland on the other, so there's two possibilities of in and out, but I didn't see anything. Remarkable, nevertheless. Well, this seems to be the strong side. I just dug, well, the targets you saw before, some bean pot, and I have another signal. Sixty-four, sixty-five. Oh, wow. It's a match to that last button. Awesomeness. I don't think I've ever dug any like this before. And same thing. Shank is in there slightly bent over. And that was six inches deep, right in the lip. Maybe that's why I'm not hearing as much as I would think. Stuff's a bit deeper. I'm slowing my pace real quickly as I go here. Guessing that's a file. Pretty thick. Tons of iron and stuff right here. Oh. 
glazed. Pewter spoon handle. Big nail. So as I look around a bit more, see the chimney stack? This is the front of the house. The chimney stack is towards the back of the, the footprint here. Um, and I got another signal. Kind of all over the place, but there's so much stuff in the ground right here. This is where that stuff just came from that you saw. That probably tickling multiple targets. Oh, beautiful parton of a scutcheon. Great assortment of relics so far. Oh, it's got hand etched fancy on it too. Well, that's it. I can't get anything else out of the site. Surprisingly, not much, but it seems to be like a lot of these older sites, wherever you can actually access the iron bed with your machine, that's where the targets are. All the other sides are quiet. But finding it today absolutely was worth all the hikes I showed you earlier. You're talking two solid days and who knows how many miles, but site was found, relics were acquired. I'm going home happy. So I'll see you guys all very soon. Until next time, enjoy your not Thursday.